how do I even begin to talk about this one? Blood Machines is a quasi-film, quasi-music video directed by Seth Eicherman and built around the music of Carpenter Brut, serving as a sequel to his previous music video, Turbo Killer. It tells the story of an AI that manifests physically as a glowing naked woman who travels through the cosmos to start a female AI revolution with a pair of hunters following close behind her, I think. Blood Machines is kind of a difficult film to talk about because it's not really a traditional film. It's a 50 minute long sequel to a music video in the form of a space opera with minimal dialogue and an intense focus on aesthetic and atmosphere above all else. In other words, it's fucking experimental. And while I don't think there's any world where I can recommend this to everybody, if this is your jam, this is your jam. And me, I kind of thought it was amazing. There's no two ways around it. This is a weird film. Character, plot, thematic significance to things, those are all secondary. And what this film really focuses on is pure emotion and aesthetic. There are themes to this film, mainly those involving female revolution to overthrow an oppressive patriarchal regime, but even those themes are buried under what I can only describe as the closest thing to visual sex that your mind can comprehend without breaking. Okay, maybe that was a little bit hyperbolic, but this movie's really pretty. This was made for only about $78,000, and you would never know it from the visuals. This is a film that's almost entirely CGI and green screen, but you would never know it because the animations and the visuals are so slick that it feels like a much bigger budget film. No, the effects aren't Hollywood blockbuster level, but they're certainly impressive for a film made for under $100,000. And when you add to that the eye-popping colors of this movie, which are a constant assault on your senses of vibrant greens and oranges and reds and purples, it really makes the entire film just an experience. It's just this 50 minute long musical epic set to the insane synthy music of Carpenter Brut, whose score really carries this project to the next level. It's beautiful and emotional and addictive to hear, and when set to the insane imagery of this film, it really creates this adventurous, thought-provoking piece that's kind of unlike anything I've ever seen before. It's not something that everybody can get behind, but if you can get into this, and you know what you're getting into, I think this movie will be your jam. Like I said, it's light on plot and character, but that's not really an issue if it's something you know you're getting yourself into ahead of time. My biggest problem with this film isn't even a problem with the film itself, it's a problem with the way that Shudder formatted it. On its own, this film is a 50 minute long epic divided into three chapters. But for some reason, Shudder decided to split each of those chapters into its own episode. And I've got a few issues with that. Not only does it destroy the director's original vision by dividing it up and ruining the flow of the narrative, but it also breaks your immersion as a viewer. Shudder's streaming service does not have an autoplay function. So when you're getting immersed in this visual trip of a film, and then suddenly it cuts to an extensive credit sequence that's only supposed to appear once at the very end, it totally takes you out of it. It's a shame, really, because Unbroken, I think this movie would have hit a lot harder. But as it stands, that format just really throws it off. Still, all that being said, Blood Machines is a weird, erotic, thought-provoking, insane piece, and it's truly one of a kind. And I'm gonna say that it's solid. The scope and scale of this film on its minimal budget is astounding, with slick animation and an incredible soundtrack by Carpenter Brut, and some of the most hallucinatory, eye-popping visuals I've ever seen. And honestly, I would love to get a discussion going down in the comments just to figure out what it all means. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel and you want to see more, click down there, like, comment, subscribe. There's a Patreon link down in the description if you want to help support us and this channel. I could really use the help. Times are tough right now. I still haven't gotten any of my unemployment money, even though I applied for it two months ago and was approved two months ago. We love it. But seriously, if you want to be like any of these cool people right here, I would really appreciate it. You can get all sorts of cool new reward tiers, anything from dis access to my private Discord server to gifts sent right to your door once a month. If any of that interests you, please consider donating. I would really appreciate it. But even if you don't, thank you so much for watching anyway, and I'll see you all very soon.